There are four pillars to community health evangelism. We like to think of them in terms of development, local ownership, integration, and multiplication. Development focuses on long-term solutions to the problems in a community. The first step in improving conditions in a community is empowering locals to identify what those problems are and then them mapping out what the road looks like to get to their vision of their community. And then we come alongside of them or oftentimes underneath of them and empower them. If they're going to find their way out of poverty, it's going to be at their own initiative uh, with actions that are sustained locally. And so we focus on uh, what we call local ownership, which implies the use, the maximizing the use of local resources and appropriate technologies, but empowering people to do for themselves. Oftentimes when we give somebody something for free, the, the pride of ownership doesn't take place, so they don't take care of those things. If we just give stuff to people, we create dependency, and we do not allow them to see themselves as made in the image of God. The first thing you should do um, is to go ahead and see what assets are actually available in your community. Instead of taking a viewpoint of trying to raise money, do fundraiser events that would you know, provide them with money to do their ministry, is let's take a look at what assets exist around you. Um, you may find that there are a lot of assets that are available to you that are free and that you can leverage those. And not only that, they become um, such a blessing to the people there that um, they're able to, to feel their self-worth, they're able to feel good about themselves because they're able to contribute uh, to solving the problem. We can give it to a community and they can own it, rather than a strategy that only we know how to execute or operate. We talk about integration because problems are complex and we recognize the the interplay between the body and the spirit and the mind and the interplay between agriculture and economic development and addictions and poverty and all of these kinds of things. So recognizing that problems are complex, we need to work across the disciplines, not just within them, bringing uh, real solutions uh, that are lasting and sustainable. I think the most important things you can do to improve community health have to do with preventing disease more than trying to cure it after it has come. There's nothing wrong with cures. God gives us doctors who have the ability to provide medical cures. But if you can prevent a disease in such a way that the people themselves feel that they have done this, then you've created something which creates a kind of community pride and self-respect that is important for de development to be sustainable. Multiplication is the fourth pillar, and that's because we want to move beyond projects and in individual villages to movements that sweep a countryside. And that means that we need transferable concepts, uh, we need to be able to give something to a person that they can use, that they can tell their neighbor about, that they can share with somebody in the next village, that can be reproduced without outside input. CHE is something that we can teach alongside of them and they can have because it's a strategy that can be contextualized in most any community and it's an easy to grasp uh, concept that they can distribute and use throughout the, the community. Within a year people walk through saying this is a different village. Is it complicated? Could you teach us how to do this? They said well it's called community health evangelism but we can only teach you if your leaders will be in charge and you're willing to make it holistic. The most unique thing about it is its ability to duplicate itself very rapidly without a, a bunch of resources and a bunch of uh, manpower from, from our side. If you're involved in uh, work in villages and slums and you think that this training would be of value to you and it's something that you would like to use, then we would invite you to uh, participate in one of our training events around the world. Uh, get trained in CHE and then you'll become a member of the network and have access not only to our resources, and our curriculum, but to a, a large network of people who are doing this work in the area where you're serving.